I'm responding to some emails and I don't know if I have mentioned her well, good morning first of all <laughs> good morning welcome back to another vlog y'all I don't know if I have mentioned my graphic designer I think I mentioned her a couple times but y'all I love her she first of all she is such a doll she's so sweet she's quick she's fast we have been working on some projects and I'm just now getting back to her like a month plus later so she is such a saint so patient but she made me a new channel banner for my youtube channel and this i don't know if y'all can see i just wanted something very simple with an updated picture because the picture that i have on my youtube banner now is not current so this is what i'm gonna put up this was just something quick that she whipped up together for me but i will be working on another project for vlog timber and we're going to do some new rebranding for that. But I do want to show y'all some of the other projects that she did for me as well. Because for my Girl Work Collective branding, she that together for me. And that was, that was a more specific project that we were working on. And she did a great job with the branding for that. Let me show you guys. So here's what she did for the Girl Work Collective rebranding. And y'all know if you were a part of the group, y'all saw all the branding. I got so many compliments on the logo and everything for it. I will be letting y'all know what happened with the Girl Work Collective. <laughs> Cause I know y'all ain't Hannah, do you still do the group or what? I'll let y'all know what happened with the Girl Work Collective in a life update coming up soon. But I did want to introduce y'all to my graphic designer because like I said, we are gonna be working on a lot of projects towards the end of summer beginning of fall so if you guys are needing a good graphic designer that is reliable let me pull up her website good graphic designer that is reliable that um communicates well that is creative and professional i would highly recommend that y'all check her out her brand is called fox den brand you can find her on etsy i'll leave all of her information down in the description box and here's her page and some of her work so like i said i'll leave all of her information down below she's not paying me to say these things about her i just really love her work i know a couple of y'all she said a couple of y'all checked out her page and purchased from her when i mentioned her the last time so if you guys are needing a good graphic designer for projects and things like that definitely check her out to show you guys my outfit really quick it's not giving like a whole lot of whole lot of but it's like a cute little casual outfit really cute for what we'll be doing today i'll tell y'all what i'm doing in the car but i finally got a chance to wear my headband i've had this headband for years and i'm just now getting around to wearing it when i come back i'm gonna have to fix my hair but yeah this is cute it's like a cute spring summer casual fit let me go ahead and get in the car i'm trying to figure out what shades i want to put on oh these are giving so i am going to a beehive farm i know y'all probably like hannah that's so lame but i think things like this are fun and exciting it's fresh it's new it's giving okay i've never been to a bee farm before so i think this will be a fun experience you actually get to put on the little suit and see how the process is of them like cultivating the honey and caring for the bees and all that kind of stuff so that's what i'm about to do y'all i did a very basic makeup look today i did not put on any foundation because i'm not finna be playing these games with this georgia heat okay i'm not <laughs> i already know it's finna be hot today so i didn't do any foundation i just did like a light brow i filled in my brows very lightly 
and did eyeliner and my lashes so I can look kind of awake but um, that's about it I'm just gonna put on some chapstick and call it a day because we're gonna be outside nobody has time for that my dumb but I almost put on perfume this morning y'all <laughs> that would have been horrible so I'm glad I didn't do that the farm is in Marietta I think I've been to Marietta like once or twice since I've been in Georgia but I'm gonna be going up here a lot because Marietta be having some good restaurants so after the farm tour I'm going to take myself to lunch there's this little casual hole in the wall spot that I found like I told y'all I'm trying to I'm trying to be out in these streets this summer summer 2022 baby I'm trying to be out in these streets so Hopefully it's a fun experience. Now tell me why I thought it was like a legit beef on. This is like somebody's backyard. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. Let me stop. Let's see how this goes. So are the, is that a particular kind of wood that you burn in there or any smoke will do? Any Okay, I got it. Thank you. So what do you think? This is amazing. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. Okay. After the lesson, I'm not scared. Okay, well good. So I taught you something, I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's called a top bar hodge. Just so you know. I never thought in a million years I would be doing this. So much fun but honey my hairline is receding so I'm gonna put this headband on like this hook because uh -uh, we is not gonna be walking around looking crazy crazier than usual I didn't bring my brush or nothing y'all it was such a fun experience I would highly 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 recommend going if you are in Georgia especially if you're near the Marietta area $50 for a two hour experience on the website it says it's only an hour but it was really two hours because I was I just left at 1130 and it's 1145 now um, but y'all it was definitely worth the money the host of the event was very knowledgeable very friendly it's also his business so it's really nice to support um, a small business and he's also a black guy it's him and his wife so it was really nice to support their business I'll have all of the information to the what do you call it event or or experience that's a better word experience down in the description box for you guys but I'm about to go in here to the Marietta burger bar and see what they're talking about I really just want a pretzel but I'm gonna see how their hot dogs are too but let me go ahead and get up in here before it gets too crowded because it's 12 o'clock on a Saturday honey people hungry <laughs> Um, no ma'am I mean it wasn't bad but it just wasn't a place I would recommend like if you're in the area and you want like a chili dog but I wouldn't recommend like driving over here to come but I had me one hot dog I didn't like the green relish that they put on the Chicago dog so I didn't eat it and the pretzel was just basic basic i didn't even take the food to go y'all because i have plenty of food at home and i really just came to try it out but y'all i'm on my way back home 
I'm going to upload this video that I edited last night. Relax, take a shower, do a little bit of cleaning. Good morning, you guys. It's Sunday. I wanted to show you guys my outfit for church. Y'all, I cut some bangs into my hair. Love it. And I don't have to deal with none of my hair underneath. So that's what we're doing for the rest of this week. So that's my hair. She just straightened it out really cute. Um, I have on this kimono that I got a while back from, I think, Pretty Little Thing. And underneath, I just have on my black bodysuit some jeans and then i have on my clogs i think i got these from torrid so yeah that is what we are wearing today i'm about to um stop at target real quick before i go to church because i forgot to pick up laundry stuff <laughs> when i did my instacart order laundry stuff q-tips a couple cleaning items so i'm gonna stop by target to pick that up because y'all know i do not like being in the store like in the afternoon to evenings i like to go in the morning because it's normally less crowded don't be having to deal with a whole lot of people so i'm gonna try to go before church give me a little coffee and head to church i'm so glad the weather is cool today like i'm so happy about that because that was my concern with these bangs having my bangs sticking to my forehead but it's nice and cool a little breezy today so so glad that it is but happy father's day to all the fathers and happy juneteenth as well let me know down below in the comments are y'all off on monday i'm not <laughs> like it's a federal isn't it a federal holiday i think juneteenth is a federal holiday now i'm not off on monday but um yeah let me know down in the comments what y'all did today like are y'all grilling are y'all cooking some soul food like what do y'all do to celebrate juneteenth i'm not planning to do anything today and nobody invited me to anything so <laughs> i'm chilling at home today i'm just gonna go to church and then come back home and um do my meal prep and clean and all that kind of stuff i'm gonna replant those plants today too because i didn't do it yesterday and speaking of yesterday if y'all do book the beekeeping experience make sure y'all book in the morning because he had another class in the afternoon and y'all over the summer it's too hot to be out there in the afternoon because he has you walking around and you're sitting out there in the sun so just make sure y'all go in the morning if you do book and experience but yeah that was so much fun i'm so glad that i went and i would definitely recommend that y'all try it out i saw that there was another one in tucker georgia as well not by him it's like a different person that does it but that one looked more like um i want to say official but official but if you want to support a black owned business a small business then you can do the one that i did yesterday in marietta i'm so thankful to be up this morning i'm so proud of myself for getting up and going to church for the second consecutive time because like i told y'all on the last video i have not been to church in a minute so i'm really proud of myself that this is one of the things that i wanted to do to go to church more consistently i still haven't found a church home i am working on that but for now i'm just going to go to church with my sister and it's right around the corner so it works out fine for now and i love i love the their teachings that's the main thing i love their teachings so yeah that is what we are doing i low-key feel like i'm just going to target just to be going to target but i do need some laundry stuff and some stuff for charlie that's what i need to go to target for so we're gonna see if we can stick to the list and only get the things that we need from target I think this location has a Starbucks inside too. So I'm gonna get me a little sippy sip. Y'all, I have been pinning so many Starbucks drinks on my Pinterest board. Um, FYI, if y'all want to keep up with me, cause I feel like I haven't been as active on Instagram as I anticipated. Just because Instagram, I don't know, just, I don't know. I'm not a social media person like that, y'all. Like if I was not doing YouTube, I probably would never post on Instagram. Cause I'm just not, I'm not on my phone like that all the time. That's why like, if any of y'all have DM me or whatever, it takes like weeks for me to get back to you sometimes if I'm not like actively on it because I just, I don't like being on social media like that all day. Like that's why I don't have a TikTok, but I do have a Pinterest board and y'all, I stay on Pinterest. I love Pinterest because for me, it just gives me like all the things that I need, all the feels and it just inspires me and gives me so much like creative juice so if y'all want to keep up with me you can follow me on pinterest 
and most likely I will be pinning like now I do have a lot of private boards but most likely I will be pinning at least maybe once a day every other day This is what I use to clean my dishes. This isn't the usual one that I get, but they don't have the one that I use. So I'm gonna try this one out. Target. They probably have it at Walmart too. Y'all, it is too hot out here in these streets. <laughs> it's too hot out here in these streets. But let me try, hold on, let me turn this down. Let me try this drink with y'all. Y'all was sweating up a storm. I just get hot easily. I'm so sorry. But I got a white caramel macchiato. <laughs> the barista was like, girl, how do you make that? And I was like, six pumps of white mocha, caramel drizzle, milk, and some other stuff. I'll put the link to the video down below, but let me taste it. Mm. Um, it's definitely coffee heavy but it's actually doable for me. Like it's very strong coffee, but it's also very creamy. So this is doable for me. And if you are like a true coffee drinker, you're not like a sweet coffee drinker, you would probably like this as well. It's not too sweet. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, like I said, a white caramel macchiato is what it's called. I think it's like this new TikTok drink. You know how they be doing on TikTok, y'all. Y'all, let me go ahead and get to church. I have about 10 minutes to get my butt there on time. I picked up... Y'all, y'all saw what I put in my cart. $90. Why? Why? And I guarantee you, when I look at the receipt, it's going to be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But it doesn't make sense. Why is all that stuff $90? That doesn't make any sense. Target... Target is so weird to me. It's like when you're shopping and you're picking up the items, you're like, okay, this is a reasonable price. It's reasonable. It's reasonable. And then when you get to checkout, it's like $90, $200. And I'm like, I didn't buy nothing that I wouldn't have bought at Walmart. But Walmart don't be charging me $90. Y'all, I don't know how the math be mathing, but it just, it doesn't add up. <laughs> it doesn't add up. That's why I do not go to Target. But I was trying to be that girl today okay you know i was feeling cute i was clanking down the um clanking down the aisles with my heels on and people were like and i was like yeah i look good i know <laughs> you guys tell me i know <laughs> but y'all let me get out of here stop acting up i am on my way to the gas station i was trying to check out this furniture store that was around the corner but they were closed they don't open until 12 and it's uh, i mean one o'clock and it's only 11 30 so i'm just gonna go to the gas station and head home start doing my sunday cleaning i told y'all last week that my co-worker is going to be off this week this upcoming work week for a vacation so i'm trying to make sure that my home is nice and clean and organized and i have my 
clothes set out. I have my plan for the week of things that I need to get done. I'm going to schedule in my workouts for this week and really get on it so I'm not all flustered and out of whack. Also, FYI, if y'all have not been watching the content because your girl has been posting consecutively, make sure y'all go back and watch those videos so y'all can be caught up on what's going on, okay? My gas done went from $55 for a full tank to $64 for a full tank. I cannot. But in other news, have y'all watched the J-Lo documentary on Netflix? Y'all, it was so good. So, so good. Like, I was crying and all that. It was just so inspiring to see and hear her story. So inspirational. So I would definitely check that out. It's called halftime is it called halftime yeah it's called halftime on netflix so so good y'all i was watching that and i was also watching web web of make-believe i think that's what it's called and that was decent like i would say out of the six episodes i would say four of them were good it was something to watch i wouldn't say it was one of my favorite crime shows or you know things like that or crime documentaries but it's something to watch but i was talking to my co-worker about this the other day because we're into like dark stuff <laughs> i don't know why i'm into dark stuff i can't like i told you i can't do horror but i can do some dark stuff and i have like a little hmm a little thing for like serial killers like that is just so fascinating to me because it's like I want to know what y'all's thought process is. Like, why do y'all be doing this stuff? It's very interesting to me. But with that being said, y'all, there's this series called Mind Hunter. So, so good. There's only two seasons. So, if y'all are into like dark stuff, true crime, serial killing specifically, I would for sure check out Mind Hunter. It's really, really good. But like I said, there's only two seasons of it. And I don't think they're coming out with future seasons as of now the writer said that he wasn't inspired to write another season i'm like bro like i hate when they be doing that like i hate when the directors and the producers just like want to wash their hands of projects because it doesn't inspire them anymore and it's a good project i hate that but it's worth watching it's definitely worth watching it's called mind hunter i believe it's still on netflix two seasons but if y'all watch it let me know what you think because it was really good i enjoyed it let me show y'all what i picked up from target i just picked up all cleaning stuff basically scent boosters like i was telling y'all i don't get this brand but this is all they had and all of them were like ten dollars and up some scrub daddies for my dishes treats for charlie some flushable refills. I got some fabric softener. Some laundry sanitizer. This isn't the one that I normally get either. I get the one with the black cap. It's like a sports odor laundry sanitizer. I like that one a lot better, but that's all they had. Some disinfecting wipes. Some laundry soap. Bleach pads for charlie i don't know if i told y'all but i no longer use the um doggy lawn that i used to put on the balcony when i'm not home because when it rains and stuff like that it got really messy out there like the combination of the rain and then the mud from the soil that was in the grass just made it very messy and harder to clean up so i went back to using the pee pad so that's what i got that for but yeah i'm gonna put this stuff away and start cleaning and then um later on i'm gonna cook for meal prep for this week my stomach is hurting a little bit so i've been kind of laying around it's only oh my oven is on it's only like 12 30 it's not that late but i know that i need to get up and start moving and cleaning up or else i'm gonna be on that couch all day especially because my stomach is hurting so i'll talk to y'all a little later
can I just take a moment to thank Caraway Home for sending over this beautiful set of pots and pans. Y'all, I've been using these nonstop. Y'all have been asking me, Hannah, where are those yellow pots and pans from? Where are they from? They are from Caraway Home. By the way, I will have the link to this recipe for the Zupa Toscana soup down in the description box for you guys. I love the Caraway Home cookware because it's made from a one-of-a-kind ceramic coating, which makes cooking a dream. It's free of heavy metals and other toxic materials. Y'all, they come in a variety of colors. I'm low-key mad at myself because I didn't get the neutral colored ones. So definitely check out the website for the different colors. And they're on Afterpay, y'all. So if it's a little pricey for you guys, you can break it up into four payments. So thank you, Caraway Home, for sending over these pots and pans. I will have all of their information as well as a link to 10% off down in the description box. This is what I'm doing for meal prep for the next few days. I just put the soup in these containers and I made a Caesar salad with shrimp and bacon. I didn't want my lettuce to go bad, so I went ahead and whipped that up. So I'm gonna eat on this for the next few days. Definitely check out Caraway Home, y'all. I've been using these pots and pans for at least for at least three weeks to a month, and I love them, y'all. They're so easy to clean. I love the way that I'm able to cook my food with them. My food cooks like perfection. So definitely check them out. I'll have the information down in the description box. So it's the next day. I forgot to end the vlog. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to leave me a comment and like the video. And I will see you guys in the next video.